postman Pat, postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, postman Pat, postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure they'll be knock ring. Letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing, and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really It was a busy day in Greendale. Ted was on his way in his lorry to mend a hole in a roof. Pat was out early as well, but he was going slowly. He had such a load of parcels today. And some of them wanted to escape. What's that? Oh, the places some people throw their litter. Oh, oh no. It's a parcel. Now, I wonder who... Hmm, well, there's an address on it. I'd better give it to Pratt. Oh, hello, Pat. Morning. Parcel for you. Well, thank you very much. Sorry I'm a bit late. Bye. Morning, Pat. I found this lying in the street. Morning, Miss Hubbard. Dear me, I must have dropped it. My bag is so full today. Goodness me, Pat. I hope you'll take more care. It's taken a bit of a knock. And I don't think Mrs. Cockett will be too pleased to get a muddy parcel. Now, don't worry, Miss Hubbard. I'll give it a wipe before I deliver it. It's very nice of you to pick it up for me. Thanks. I've never seen so many parcels. Bye for now. Soon be done now. Ooh, I'm glad that lot's finished. Oh, no. More parcels. Oh, Pat, I'm so sorry. I don't know where they're all coming from. It's worse than Christmas. What's going on? All the parcels in the world seem to be coming to Greendale. Just take as many as you can, then come back for another lot. That's the only way. Little by little, you'll manage. I think I need a bigger bag. <laughs> and arms like a gorilla. Now then, Jess, where are you going to sit? Uh, shove up a bit and make room for another parcel. Oh, you know, one of these days there won't be enough room for me to get in. <laughs> then you'll have to drive the van, Jess. First stop today was Thompson Ground. Sam was there with Dorothy, pointing to coloured pictures in a big glossy catalogue. Pat had some parcels for her. Hello, Sam. 
Hello, Pot. You look busy. You can say that again. I've had a huge load of parcels today. Oh, hello, Pat. Are those parcels for me? Oh, sorry. Hello, Dorothy. Yes, they are. I can't think where they're all coming from. It's this here catalogue, Pat. It's got everything in. All the things I can't fit into my van. Folks love it. They're ordering stuff like mad, and they'll all come through the post. It's got skirts and blouses. Records and videos. All sorts of cups and mugs. Bye, Pat. I don't believe it. Comes in nice, neat parcels. Cheerio. Oh, dear. Bye, Sam. Well, I don't know how we're going to cope. Jess, <laughs> you'll have to help. Pat was on his way. He arrives at Ted Glenn's workshop. Ted was looking out for Pat. Hello, Pat. There was a big pile of parcels for Ted. Hey, Pat. <laughs> There's no need to throw them. Sorry about that, Ted. There's just too many of them. Everyone's ordering from that catalogue of Sam's. Well, you'll have to move with the times, Pat. You can't just go on staggering about with a bag overflowing with parcels. You'll hurt yourself. But I can't get the van down the small lanes or through the alleyways. Nay, nee, Pat. You want a high-tech solution. I'll have a think about it. I'm sure I can come up with something. I hope you can, before I get squashed under a pile of parcels. Cheerio! Bye, Pat. The next day, Major Forbes was on the lookout for a parcel he had sent for, when he spotted Pat behind a pile of parcels. Morning, Major. Hello, Pat. By Jove. There's my parcel right at the bottom. I'll just... Ah, uh, no, don't! Oh! It's all right, Pat. I've got it. Cheerio! This is getting worse and worse. I can't even see where I'm going. One of these days, I'll bump into someone. And I was just saying I could do with a new car when Sam showed me that catalogue of his. Oh, yes, it's wonderful. There's everything in it. I know, but ordering napkins by post is one thing. Oh, someone's pushing. Now, Pat, you don't need to be so rough about delivering the mail. I'll be having some broken legs to mend. I'm sorry, Doctor. It's this mail order madness that's come over the whole of Greendale. Well, I think the post office should do something about it. It's not good for your health. <laughs> or for hours, if it comes to that. I'll put a word in with your boss in Pencaster. Thanks, Dr Gilbertson. Bye. Bye, Pat. It was time to call on Ted again. He was fiddling with some mechanical bits. Morning, Ted. More parcels. Hello, Pat. Have a look at this. I think it'll solve your problem. The Mark I Super Speed Postal Scooter. <laughs> Just what the modern postman needs in the age of mail order. It looks grand, Ted. I like the parcel box in front. Is there room for a cat? <laughs> There's room for everything. Why don't you try it out? Have a test run. Well, 
I don't know how you've done it so quickly. I'll just try the seat. Uh, what are you doing, Ted? No! No, don't stop the engine! I think it needs a few adjustments before you use it for real, Pat. That Pat, he makes a great racket these days when he goes round with the village post. Aye, well, it is a bit noisy, but... Morning! He certainly gets round with the parcels now. There's nothing like a ride in someone's garden. Mr. Pringle wondered what the noise was, but soon found out. Morning, Mr. Pringle! The steep hill slowed back down a bit. But only when he was going up them. Hello, Pat. Is this one of yours? PC Selby was looking for Pat. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Can I have a quiet word? Morning, PC Selby. I thought you might be popping in. Oh, I've had some complaints. It's this high speed postman of ours. Poor old Pat. He's only trying to do his job. Right enough, but he's making a dickens of a racket and endangering life and limb. Let me have a word with Pat. I know he'll listen to me. No need for him to be in trouble. I'll leave it to you, then. Thanks. See you, Mrs Goggins. Bye, PC Selby. That looks like P.C. Selby. Was that P.C. Selby just now? Yes, it was, Pat. And it was you he was talking about. Oh, <laughs> don't tell me. I can guess. He's really annoyed with you. All that noise and smoke. Tearing around on that scooter thing. But... How else can I deliver all the parcels on time, if they keep on coming like this? Well, Pat, just as it happens, there's a parcel for you today. For me? Who can be sending one to me? It's not something from one of Sam's catalogues, is it? It's one of those trolleys. A proper postal trolley. What do you reckon to this, Reverend? Wonderful! Ah, you see, the Lord will provide. No, <laughs> it came from the post office in Pencaster. It's to help me deal with all these parcels. I must be going. I've parcels to deliver. Cheerio! Bye, Pat! Come on, Jess. <laughs> you can give me a ride when we've done. But Jess wasn't at all sure about that. <laughs> Who ever heard of a cat pulling a trolley? Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat.